Proper strip widths. This is probably the most controversial and biggest variable in the tube and pipe mill industry. Most want to know just how much strip width does it take to produce their end product on their mills. Most figure they can just take the OD of the finished product, multiply that times pi, and that will give us our required strip width. Well, if we were just forming that material up so that we would bring the edges together, that would be true. But in the tube and pipe mill industry, we weld our product. So we have to have increased strip width, or what we call welding allowance, to perform this. So this welded tube size becomes the main focal point of most strip width calculations out in the industry. But there's many other variables that must be considered as well. For example, the type of material. Is it stainless? Is it mild steel? What's the gauge? Lighter gauge will require a wider strip width. Heavier gauge will require a narrower strip width. How many breakdowns do you have? What's the design of the breakdowns? Certain designs in the breakdowns will deliver a larger OSP, or the outside measurement of the tube, to the fin passes. How many fin passes do I have? Two fin passes, for example, won't reduce the outside periphery as it prepares the edges for welding to the welder as a mill configuration that has three or four fin passes. And finally, what type of welding do we have? For example, in high frequency, we're going to require more welding allowance, a wider strip width, so that we can properly forge that inside and outside bead, as opposed to TIG welding, for example. Once we have our strip width in place, our tooling design accordingly, it's important that we follow the setup chart and set the breakdowns and the fin passes the way the tooling has been designed. Making sure that we have the right outside periphery out of each and every fin pass, the right tube size, so that we can deliver that proper size to the welder. For more information, follow the links that follow this video. You'll also find on our website our Profit Pointer series, technical publications that help you run a better tube. Thank you for visiting Rollcraft.